Hello friends, I am Jyotilal. Once again, welcome back to my chess vlog. Today, I have a new topic, pawn chains. Let me start here with a model game played between Alexander Belyavsky and Medina Garcia. Um, the game started with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, a6, bishop a4, the royal pass. Um, d6, c3, bishop d7, d4, g6, bishop e3, bishop g7, knight bd2, queen e7, d5, knight b8, c4. Well, here we can say um, we have got the position of our interest slightly. It's not completely a pawn chain yet. We can start thinking about the pawn chain. Um, why it is slightly better thanks to his uh, um, space advantage in the center. Black played here, knight f6. So we can see a partially blocked center and a small pawn chain. It is essential to understand the mode of play with the pawn chain before composing a plan. So how do we decipher a pawn chain? Let's start with the direction of the pawn chain. Um, for example, the black pawn chain. Here, the black pawn chain starts from the c7 square and it's going to the e5 square. That means the direction of the pawn chain is from the queen side to the king side. So, black should rather play on the king side because the direction is towards the king side. That's very easy to understand. Now, the next point to understand here, how should you initiate an attack or play? So it is very simple. Look at the pawn chain, your pawn chain, and look at the tip of the pawn chain. Here in this case, the e5 pawn is the tip of your pawn chain. You have to always play against the pawn that is opposing the tip of your pawn chain. So in this case, the e4 pawn. So usually black thinks about playing f5 at some point. I mean, he is playing against the pawn that is opposing the tip of the tip of the pawn chain. Now for white, his pawn chain usually it is you know you can see the small pawn chain here and the tip is the one on d5. So how should he play? He should attack the pawn that is opposing the tip of his pawn chain. So black's d6 pawn is the one that is opposing the tip of white's pawn chain. So white should rather prepare playing c5. So the game continued here with white playing c5 completely in accounts with the principles of pawn chain. Black hassled and rook c1 by mounting pressure on the queen side because that is why he has got more space. Bishop in a4, queen takes a4, knight b d7, and white immediately played c6. Uh, sees the opportunity here uh, to expand more on the queen side. Now black is saddled with a weak pawn on c7. Black played a rook of b8, and white took the pawn, an exchange of pawns taking place here. Um, white castle here. So now we understand that the pawn chains clearly demonstrated uh, the mode of play. White playing on the queen side, in fact, black failed to start anything on the king side where he has got some space advantage. So black's counterplay, as you can see here, the rook has already into the um, white territory, but it is likely to be, um, you know, pushed back because black has got limited space or little space on the queen side. Black white has got enormous space, and his pieces are towards the queen side. So um, after castling, black played queen d8, white played rook c6 here, attacking the b6 pawn. So after rook c6, rook, um, rook c6, knight b8, rook came back to c3. A better move would have been knight going to c4. However, rook c3 is not bad. Bishop f8. Now we see the strength of white's play on the queen side, where he enjoy, he's enjoying a lot of space. The threat is rook c8 knight b d7 knight b3 knight c5 the rook is almost in a cage to rescue this rook the knight was played on to c5 knight into c5 pawn takes c5 now bishop takes c5 so after careful play white has won a pawn on the queen side now queen b6 
So h3 rook b8. Knight takes e5. Um, rook b4. Queen c6. Now knight into e4. Takes on e4. Rook 5 c2. Um, after rook 5 c2, it is rook b1. So black threatens to win with rook into c1, rook into c1, queen into f2. However, it is simply avoided by king h2. Queen b8, rook takes b1 this time. Queen takes b1. A simple tactic, knight f7. If he captures on f7, queen e6 followed by queen e4. Um, white gets a couple of pawns extra. So here, queen b8 was played. g3, finding no real chances. Black resigned here. So this is the game where we have seen pawn chains and the strength of uh, the space advantage provided by the pawn chain. Basically, when you play with the pawn chain, the most important thing is to find out the direction of the pawn chain. That is the starting point to the ending point. And then the mode of attack, as I demonstrated earlier, you have to play against the pawn that is opposing the tip of your pawn chain. Usually pawn chains occur uh, in various openings. There are two main pawn chains, e5 pawn chain and d5 pawn chain, but basically the concept is more or less same. So we have demonstrated um, the pawn chain, the d5 pawn chain in this game. We will be playing uh, another example very soon in the next video, uh, ex examining the other side of the pawn chain. So till then, bye.